All right, so let's take a look here at the intermediate value theorem. So it says, let f be a function that satisfies the following conditions. Uh, one, f is continuous on the closed interval, a to b, and two, k is any number between f of a and f of b, where f of a does not equal f of b. Then there exists a number c in that open interval such that f of c is equal to k. Okay, again, a lot of words here, but let's kind of pay attention to what's going on here. So again, let's say here's my a value down here. And I don't know, why don't we say up here, okay, whatever value this is, that's going to be my b value here. Now, the important thing is that f of a does not equal f of b. Well, f of a here would just be 0, and this is f of b. So we have f of b up here, and f of a is right there. It's at 0. Okay, you could see that that's at 0 here. So what it says is k is any number in between that. So for instance, if I chose k to be right here at like 1 or something, then what I'm saying is there lies some value or some number c in that interval from a to b, where if you took f of c, you'd get k. And you could see that happens right here. So this c value, I should move that a to the other side. Okay, so that c value, if I took f of c, it would give me the k. And that k just has to be in between f of a and f of b.